answer. Because you are that, you are capable. You are gifted and you are so unique. All of the things that you may hate about yourself are your strengths. It's okay to be soft. It's okay to be opinionated. It's okay to be different. And it's so okay to just be The world awaits to receive you. We're going to start with an update from lawyers for workers okay now before we get into the gossip we got to talk about some serious things that's going on i think everyone in the united states should pay attention to what's going on there has been a lot of air traffic and a lot of mainstream news articles actually talking about all of these type of air balloons and things being taken down now i knew about one or two but I didn't know it was a sequence of about five, according to Lawyer for Workers, as well as I have another update for today because allegedly there was another balloon shot down. So I want to make sure that I have it. before we get too much into the broadcast. All right, let's mute that. And I just wanna make sure that we have it up and ready to go. It was another update a couple of hours ago, so I wanted to make sure that I had it up there for you guys. I do apologize for the delay. I was caught off guard a little bit. My producers actually started without me being ready. My hair all fuzzy, all types of stuff going on, but I said, whatever, y'all gonna love me for who I am. We're going to get these um, updates to you. So right now, we're going to start with an update from Lawyers for Workers. And he's talking about all of these numerous um, aircraft that has been shot down in our airway space. This is something very important that I think we should pay attention to, okay? Situation unfolding in the United States of America. We had the balloon. Friday, there was another object shot down in Alaska, then a second object shot down. Um, and now, then there were the green lasers mm -hmm. over Hawaii, and now over, over Montana and Portland, jet scrambled for another radar anomaly. That's like five incidents in a 24 to 36 hour span. Alarming. So I just want you guys to be paying attention because I know we got a lot of YouTube things going on and things that you may think is very important, but I really, really believe that if America suffers a in Allen attack, a lot of Americans won't be ready. So I want to get on to the actual another update that I, I kind of got wind of a few hours ago. And this is military shoots down high altitude object. This is another one, okay? So let's get to watching. <clears throat> I couldn't even digest my food or anything. They said, go. Breaking news. Mm. U.S. officials confirming that another high altitude object was shot out of the sky this afternoon, this time over Lake Huron. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Mike Duffy. And I'm Amira David. According to one official, the object was shot down by a U.S. military aircraft. It comes just one day after another unidentified object was shot down over the Yukon in Canada. Now, U.S. and Canadian authorities temporarily Ooh. restricting airspace over Lake Huron and Lake Michigan today as planes were scrambled to intercept and try to identify it. 7 Action News reporter Sarah Grimmer joins us live after speaking with a retired lieutenant general with the United States Air Force about what the presence of this object might mean. Sarah. Yeah, Mike Amira, General Newton told me that it is way too soon to know exactly what this object was. But right. what we do know is that it is extraordinarily uncommon to have an object like this shot down over the United States. Alyssa Slotkin, she was the first one to tweet this afternoon. At 3.15, she said she got the call from the Department of Defense saying 
the military has an extremely close eye on the object above Lake Huron. Just before four, she tweeted once again that the object had been down by pilots from the U.S. Air Force and the National Guard and that, quote, we're all interested into exactly what this object was and its purpose. U.S. officials have confirmed that the object was the same one spotted over Montana on Saturday and that it moved over to, over to Wisconsin, then here in Michigan today. President Biden was the one who directed the military to shoot the object down. His administration has released that it presented as an octagonal structure with strings hanging off. They also stated that they have no indication that the object has surveillance capabilities, but that cannot be ruled out. The administration says when the object was shot down, it was not a threat to anything on the ground and that they're now working to recover it to learn more. The presence of this flying object in Michigan today marks the fourth time in just over a week that the U.S. military has taken down objects in North American airspace. But these surveillance and spy balloons are, uh, I think they're a significant threat because they're gathering signals intelligence. And by signals intelligence, it's uh, intelligence gathered by electronic means. So that in and of itself uh, is, is something that needs to be reckoned with. And I believe that we've effectively done that again today. Now, General Newton also told me that this may seem scary, but there's really nothing to be scared about, especially now that the object has been taken down. Also, it will most likely take a good amount of time for officials to figure out what this object was and its purpose. Reporting live tonight, Sarah Grimmer for 7 Action. <coughs> I've been talking and y'all didn't hear me. We're going to start our commentary over. You see this balloon right here? We're going to talk all allegedly. Allegedly to me, this looks like a hot air balloon. To me. I want you guys to take a good look at this. I'm going to blow it up on the screen so you can look at it. Take a look. Now, what's really weird to me, we're going to put some context clues together. This is all alleged and this is all from what I've been seeing. Now, I was just talking to my brother about this and all of these alleged balloons or not, I'm not going to call balloons, unidentified objects over the United States, which is becoming common because as you say, she said, this is not common, but it's at least five. And now this is six because this is a two hours ago update and they're shooting objects down. I want to really highlight that us as Americans have to pay attention to this because we never lived in a state of war, first and foremost. So we need to pay attention. Secondly, it's a little weird to me. It's a little weird to me that my brother would mention just a week or so ago, and I'm going to look for this and I'm going to get the information to share with you guys, just in a real, a reals. But a high-ranking military general is allegedly retiring. And this high-ranking general allegedly stated that he predicts by 2025, we will be in a full-blown war with China. And then about a week later, this is what I was talking about when I was muted, that this started happening with all of these balloons or unidentified aircrafts in our space. This says 2423. But when you look at the news broadcast, this is weird. This is what I look at. Look at the date. 2423. But when you let's let's make this smaller. This says two hours ago on channel seven. Just before 4 p.m., officials confirmed to ABC News that the military shot down an unidentified object over Lake Heron. Show more. I'm going to show this, give you this link so you can read it. So why does this video say 2-4-23? And today is 2-12-2023. This is the stuff that I pay attention to. But maybe I pay attention to too many details. Things is a little weird. And I'm not saying for us not to pay attention, like, oh, this is all, this is fake. They're setting us up. But they uh, they may be setting us up with war with China. Now, I don't know how far American debt can go, but it seemed like the money debt system can go pretty far because we're almost in more than three to four countries spread out. And now trying to uh, flare things up with Haiti. 
and I have an update on Haiti. So I, I'm not going to dig into this too much because I thank you guys for even listening when I was mute. Somebody should have just told me I was mute. I love you guys. But I, I got kind of caught off guard because my broadcast started before I wanted it to get started. So this is the update. Allegedly, we have five to six aircraft that's been have shot down between Canada and America. Allegedly, unidentified objects. They're not saying they're planes. They look like hot air balloons. You're seeing it right here. I, maybe I'm tripping. I'm sorry. Because you are that. You are capable, you are gifted, and you are so unique. All of the things that you may hate about yourself are your strengths. It's okay to be soft. It's okay to be opinionated. It's okay 